Hey guys, it's Con74. Um, today I've got a review of the iPod Shuffle 3rd Gen. Um, yeah, so I've loaded it with um, probably about 6 or 7 CDs. And so I've tried it, I've put some music on. Um, so far, the sound of it, you might, you might ask what, what it sounds like. It sounds as good as any other iPod. It's excellent. Actually, it's better than the say the first, second, third gens of the normal iPods or the iPod videos. It's actually got a better sound than them, so it is very, very good. Um, it's a four gig, obviously. Um, I like I like this idea because it's so small, and really, they couldn't make a docking for something this small. So I like this idea. It's only a short cable you plug it in there and you sync it to your computer your laptop or your PC or whatever so you sync that and it just sits there it's that small and that's how it charges also through this um, so I like that idea the headphones they do have a this is how you basically control the, this iPod shuffle the third gen through the headphones you skip songs with the plus and minus. You got minus and you got plus. That's how you skip songs. And you double tap to um, go to a next track. And you triple tap to, I think that's to get the, um, the robot voice telling you what track you're on. So you can enable that or you can disable it. You, you don't have to have it on. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these headphones, well, the Apple headphones that you get stock, but there are worse headphones than these, I've, I've like, had worse ones than them, um, so, but I will be investing in a better set of headphones soon as I can find something that will suit this iPod shuffle with that kind of, um, so you can control it through the headphones like that. I will be investing in a new pair, something that sounds a little bit better, because I, I like that real bassy sound. So that's the only reason I invest in that. Anyway, I lo one another thing I really think that makes this iPod Shuffle, what makes it look nice, is this chrome clip. As you can see, it looks really, really nice. Makes it look stylish. And here, you've got the. It's on off now. And this is on now. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's standard. That's placed from one track to another. And this one, when you pull it right down to the other side it's shuffle so it's in shuffle mode now as if you can see it there it's in shuffle mode there um, and another way to check your battery life is by putting it in the middle there and you can see that green dot I'm not sure if you can see that, you should be able to but the green dot there tells me that the battery is full. I think when it goes like an orangey colour, or I'm not sure if it's orange or red, that means that it should be charged. But otherwise, it's tiny, as you may know. It's a very, very small shuffle. It's a lot smaller than the last gen. And it's great. I've got not one bad thing to say about it. It's very, very good. I like the, how it's so small, you clip it on your pocket or on your shirt and you don't even know it's there. The only way you know it's there is because they're headphones, but otherwise, you don't even know it's there. But 
I, in this design and that, I would give this a 9 out of 10, I reckon, from Apple. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, if any, anyone else is worried, if there's people worried about, not sure if they want to buy it because of the um, clip might, they might come off the clip. It won't because it's very, it's a very, very strong clip. So, she'll be fine with it. Anyway, that's my take on the new iPod Shuffle um, third gen. Hope you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment and rate. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.